Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you what my top 10 favorite films of 2022 were, so stick around. So there were a lot of great films during the year 2022 that I was able to see. A lot of these I saw in the theater, um, some I saw on streaming, and then others I saw when I, when I got them on physical media. It was really hard to pick my top 10, but there were some really great films. Um, so first up at number 10 was Elvis. I really enjoyed this film. Um, I'm a big Elvis fan. I grew up listening to Elvis. Um, I enjoyed the music, and I thought that the film really focused on that as far as the music was concerned. A lot of good songs and some really great performances. So this is my number 10. Um, at number 9 was another film I saw in the theater, and that was Bullet Train. I thought this was a lot of fun. I enjoy the aspect of Who Done It, um, the mystery of it, the action, the comedy. I thought this was a really fun watch, very rewatchable, and this is the reason why I chose this as my number nine. Now, the next film is number eight, and that was The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Um, with Nicolas Cage. This is one I didn't see until it came out on physical media. I really loved this film. I thought it was very well done. It was a really nice surprise and I was very um, taken with how much I enjoyed the comedy and the action in this one. Another very rewatchable film. And that's the reason why I made that my number eight. Okay, at number seven is the Scream movie. Um, this wasn't... It was, it was really enjoyable just seeing all these characters back and kind of meeting some new characters. I know that it wasn't the best movie um, of the year, but it was a really fun watch. I really enjoyed it, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where this franchise goes. I really do enjoy the Scream films, and so that's the reason why I chose this as my number seven. Um, I did get to see that one in the theater also. Another one I saw in the theater is my number six, and that was The Northman. I really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the darkness of it, the atmosphere, um, the broodiness. I don't know, something about it was a really good theater experience. Um, and another one that I'm definitely looking forward to checking out again. I haven't seen it since I saw it in the theater, but it still made my number six. Okay, another one that I saw in the theater... Um, actually, this one I didn't get to see in the theater, and that was Glass Onion. Um, I, I did watch um, the Glass Onion film on Netflix here recently and really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed Knives Out, and I thought this right here was a really good way of continuing on with the um, with that kind of aspect of a whodunit mystery. I thought it was very well done. I enjoyed the characters and the action, um, and the twists. So that would be the reason why I chose that as my number, um, as my number five. Okay, number four, I saw this one in the theater. I was really looking forward to it. That was Pearl. I thought Mia Goth gave a great performance in this. Um, it wasn't what I, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be, but it wasn't terrible. Um, I still really enjoyed the film. I, like I said, I thought her performance was great, and I can't wait to see the third installment of this particular series. And again, at number three would be another one I saw in the theater, and that was X. I really enjoyed this one. Um, this right here was a lot of fun. It had a lot of horror tropes in it, um, and... I, I got to rewatch, so so I saw this in the theater. I rewatched this before I went and saw Pearl, which I really enjoyed it even more on my second watch. Um, and definitely, this would be my top um, number three. Okay, at number two is a new film that just came, was recently released. I don't know that I can pronounce it all correctly, but it is the Banshees of Inishirin. Um, this right here was a really nice surprise. I just watched this one um, this past week. Um, really enjoyed it. I thought it had some really great performances. I thought that the storyline was was um, interesting and different. And I just loved every bit of it. And so this right here was a very tough decision if this would make my number one. But I did put this in at number two because my number one film that I loved during the year 2022, of course was Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick was a really nice surprise. It was a film that I had been waiting on for a very long time. 
Uh, my wife and I really love the original Top Gun film. Um, we saw it in the theaters when it was released back in the 80s. And so when this right here came out, me and my wife went and saw this one and we just loved it. I thought they did a great job with continuing on with the story, um, adding the new characters in and the plot. The action, the heart, every bit of it was just wonderful. The music. And so that's the reason why I chose this as my number one. So those are my top 10 films of 2022. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular top 10. And also let me know what your top 10 were or what some of your favorites were that I didn't mention here. Because um, I really do enjoy your recommendations. So there might be something that you saw that I haven't seen yet that I would love to check out. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.